Welcome to another Burn Tables demo. Uh, today I'm going to make a sign, a uh, high voltage sign with a lightning bolt and the words high voltage in it. It's going to be on one layer and I'm going to cut it out with a torch. So I found a PNG that I like and I'm going to open the vectorize function in my CAD software and select this lightning bolt. And I'm going to need to get nice lines so I'm going to go over to the sliders and move those around a bit so I get what I like and I kind of know where this one needs to be so the vectorize and there that looks good um, so I'm going to OK it it brings it back into my CAD and uh, the first thing I want to do with this is I want to make sure that all the lines are on the same layer and they're all joined so I'm going to go to more modified join and then for the regions I'm going to select again more modify regions and next thing is going to be layer change layer and make sure it's on the default layer it is and lastly you can see that this is a really large field of view 200 something inches so I'm going to select it again and size it so I go over to my scale function input position 00, zero objects profile fit I'm going to do 10 inches by 10 inches so the sign's going to be 10 by 10 and I select that, you see that it gets really small, I come over to view and zoom all and now that's a better size. Now I want to enter my text so I'm gonna use stencil which cuts out nicely and high voltage enter that and as you know it will come out very large so go ahead and select it and we do the same thing with the join select more modify regions select layer change to default make sure it's on the default layer and then scale it so I'm going to select my scale function and I'm going to make this 8 inches so it fits inside nicely okay and there we go. And I just want to move this up. I got too much of it there. Let me explode it first. Explode it, and now I'm going to move it. Okay. And I can tell right now I missed that little piece of the E, if you can see that over there. So I'm going to undo that and try to get that again. Sometimes this can be tricky when they're so close together like that. Okay, I got it that time. I'm going to move it. There you go. And I'm also going to want to move this up. So I'm going to move the lightning bolt up too. And I'm going to explode this word. Cuts better that way. So there's my dynamite. It's exploded. Kind of like how that looks. I want to make sure it's all on one layer again. So I'm going to select the whole thing. Change layer. Be sure that it's on the default layer. Okay, now I can export it to a DXF. DXF file. Lightning bolt 1. Yes. And the next thing I'm going to do is go over to my um, cam software and import this file. So I'm going to import the drawing, lightning bolt 1, I'm going to stick with 1 inch, and also the drawing origin, OK it, looks great, you've got r red and yellow, so everything is setting up nicely, I'm going to select my tool, and um, this is the tool I want to use, the only thing I want to do is I want to change the speed, I want to speed this up just a bit to 150 inches a minute, I'm going to OK that, I need to set up my operation, and outside offset default layer perfect 150 inches a minute um, arc and arc on the lead in and lead out I'm going to OK it and it gives me my green lines that say it's OK to post so I'm going to post it save that now I'm going to go to my burn table software the machine software I'm going to reset that and normally I again I would turn my torch height control on if I was connected to a torch but for this demo I'm not so I'm going to leave it off 
and I would be jogging my torch using the arrow keys and the page up page down over into the origin right here okay once it's there and I lower the um, the torch tip to touch the material I can now zero out the X Y and Z and load my G code lightning bolt one there it is so we're all ready to go and uh, one last check and I'm gonna cycle start okay and you can just follow the cuts all the way around and you can see that that was a very easy process uh, going through the cuts you can watch the code over here on the left you can stop it at any time you can move it back and start it again again it's really easy to do so I'm going to go ahead and stop that since it will take a while and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this demonstration from Burn Tables.